Welcome to Study Book Math More Class. My name is Nazia Tanji Mnahi and I'm the first member of Study Book Math More Class. This is Tawa Islam. She's a kindergartner and she's also the second member of Study Book Math More Class. Today we will solve two digit by one digit subtraction counting by straight lines. Tawa, I'm going to give you four problems to do. Are you ready? Yes. I'm going to help you on these four problems, okay? Okay. Let's start. So suppose if I write here, 38 minus 4. So the rules are, if the top number is big, you don't need to do anything. So is the top number big or small? Big. So you just have to write eight lines over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what's the bottom number? Four. So you have to take away four. One, two, three, four. Now count how many are left. One, two, three, four. Good job. Now you can write four. And over here, since this is three, you don't need to change anything. You can just write three over there. Now can you do another problem? Yes. Problem? Suppose if I write down 55 minus 7. Over here, is the top number big or small? Small. So the rules are, if the top number is small, you have to borrow. If you borrow, what is this number going to be? Five? No. If you borrow, you have to subtract one. This is going to be a four. So write four up here. Over here? Yes. Four. And now if you borrow, this is going to be a one over here. Now since this is five, you have to write a five next to it. So we have 15. Now circle 15. Now what's our top number? Is it 15 or 5? 15. So draw 15 lines here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now, you have to subtract 7, so take away 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now count how many is left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now you can write 8. Okay, Salva, what's the top number over here? Is the top number 5 or 4? Four? 4. Since the top number is 4, you don't need to change anything. You can just write 4 over there. Good job, Salva. Can you do another problem? Yes. Suppose if I write 78 minus 9. Okay, Salva, I have a question for you. Is this the big, is the top number big number or a small number? Small. So the rules are you have to take, you have to borrow one. So borrow one from the seven. And what do you get? Six. Now you can write six up here. Over here? Yes. Over here, since we borrowed one, just write a one over there. And now since this is the eight, you have to write eight next to it. Now circle 18. Now over here, what's the top number? Is it 8 or 18? 18. So draw 18 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now you have to take away now. 9. So count 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now take away 9. Good job. Now count how many is left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now you can write 9. So Salwa, so over here, what's the top number? Is it 6 or 7? Six. So it was, since the top number is six, you don't need to change anything. You can just write six over there. So what, can you do another problem? Yes. Suppose if I write 47 minus 5. 
Okay, Salo, I have a question. Over here is the top number a big number or a small number? Big. So you don't need to borrow. You can just write seven lines. Over here? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we have to subtract five. So count five and then take them away. One, two, three, four, five. Now how many are left? One, two. Now you can write two over here. Okay, what's the top number? Four. So you don't need to change four. You can just write four the way it is. Good job, Salwa. You solved all of these four problems. There's also a homework sheet you can do, Salwa. We see the homework sheet in our visual figure. You have to complete this homework sheet, okay? Okay. Students, there's also a worksheet you have to do. You must have to complete this homework sheet. Thanks for watching this class.